but this is going to be a beginner guide 101 final cut pro 101 i'm going to show you how to do a basic edit uh, i'm actually going to create this video for you i'm actually going to upload it on one of my vlog uh, channels and i'm going to show you exactly how i do it what's going on guys thomas messing here and today on messin tech we're going to be going over how to use final cut pro x now this is an amazing amazing software and I couldn't give more credit to Final Cut Pro for making my life so much easier. It's a fantastic software. Uh, so if you're using you know, Final Cut Pro, it really does enhance your editing experience. It's absolutely amazing and I definitely recommend uh, buying it if you haven't already. No matter how long the video has to be, I'm going to show you the whole entire thing. So I'm going to show you exactly what I do to edit my videos. If you want to see some of my work, just go over to Messin's Quest and you'll be able to see my blog series and how I edit videos, right? So it's really important that you know you have good footage to begin with, valuable footage, footage that looks good. Um, the camera really doesn't matter. The audio doesn't really matter. All that really matters is you yourself. So if you're gonna make content, make sure it's useful for people, make sure it's worth people's time. Uh, and let's say you, you can't afford a good camera, a good mic, that's fine, just start somewhere and work your way up. That's what I did, I upgraded. And now I have my dream set. So looking at the video, um, it's pretty simple. To import uh, footage, you just go to File, Import, Media. And from there, you can go on your desktop, and you can look at any of the, the, the videos that are on your desktop and you can easily just select them and import selected. If you have a camera, if you have a, 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 I have a Canon or as you can see, I have my phone here so I can go straight to my images on my phone. Uh, when I usually plug in my Canon, I'll see a, uh, my Canon right here. But, uh, but yeah, all you wanna do is just select, you know, you can select an image you can select whatever you want. I'm gonna just import this video just to show you how to, to do it. And then you'll be able to see uh, your, your video right here. So it's actually just right here. And this is my friend Jeff doing a tray flip, which is pretty sick. And pretty much landing it. So that was pretty sick. Uh, that's not gonna be in the video that I'm editing today, but that's just how you select to make it simple for you guys. New project. You can title it whatever you want, right? Um, I'll just make it vlog for all intents and purposes. So, so get your footage, it'll be right here where it says all clips and you can simply just click and hold and just hold it all the way down here until you get it right here. And then you can just play your video. Um, but I'm gonna get stock footage for you guys just to, to make it a lot easy for you easier for you guys to show you how I edit videos and stuff so let's um, get rid of these messages I'm sorry if you guys it's probably I'll probably blur those messages out but so as you can see we have our stock footage right here and the stock footage is obviously the most important part but uh, you'll s if I messed up on some footage like we'll just make we'll just do it with this shot I actually filmed someone. <laughs> Thanks, Isaiah. Yeah, you get uh, the messages keep popping up, but um, but yeah, let's get a, a little footage right here. So what you want to do is just select something, and I was very rude here, and I actually filmed someone skateboarding, filming him without his consent. But let's say I wanted to cut that part out because I didn't want to, you know, I, I want to cut out his face, right? You would just, what you can do, I have a Mac right now, so what you can do is select, select your browser to wherever you want and, and hold down Command B and it will actually cut the clip. Now you can do it that way or you can actually scroll up here and you can hit Blade and you can cut anything so I can make multiple cuts and then to go back you hit select or a and then what you can do is you can move these around so these are just the other clips you can move these up here 
you can move this down here so you would be able to get all three audios at the same time so it's really simple cutting is the most useful thing to really understand and like i said it can either be command uh, b or you can go up here and hit the blade right um So yeah, you can shortcut it without going up there by just hitting B and you can just cut and then hit A to go to go back, right? So it's very simple, very, very simple to use. And with this, you can you can rearrange your video. So if you wanna have like a foreshadowing part of the video, you can put that in front. All right, so let's actually start editing this video for you guys. So let's say, let's just get this back in here. Let's say I want to start the video. See how it's like fumbling, it's fumbling. It looks pretty good right there. So I'm just gonna hit Command B, take out that part. It'll start right here. See how it just fumbled right there? So command B, this is just gonna be a simple edit, I'm not gonna go really hard with it, but hit, hit command B, go back to when it's wherever you want it to be, and then delete this part, and then all of a sudden, it cuts in. You see that? And see that, that fumbling right there? Now what I can do is right before my eyes are right there, I can cut it. Once I secure the fumbling back, I can either hold and scroll or I can do the command B and that way I can just go straight there as you can see more fumbling right there so I can go back once I secure the fumble I cut that I cussed right there so Right before I cuss, I can block out that. See, I fumble right there. And then, boom, put it right back. This is when we take a mountain ride. It's a very fun time. So let's say we're just waiting here. We want to speed up things. Um, we can make it right here. So if you want to actually speed up a clip, what you can do is hit right. If you go right here, you can go fast and you can do two times faster. So if you want to speed up your clips, If you want to uh, hold it, so you can actually just hold the frame. Hold the frame for a few seconds, goes back, which is really cool. This is a really, uh, this is a great thing to add. Uh, to, this is a great thing. Uh, you can do a lot with this tab, as you can see. Um, for the more advanced training, we'll go over each one. Uh, this is really good because you can go to, you can actually color correct your, your video. And what I did is I just went here to this uh, wand and went straight to the um, color board. And so we can actually lighten up this picture right here. Obviously that doesn't look good at all. Uh, I can make it look darker. I can make the saturation very distorted. <laughs> can change the color of it it's about having a good eye right 
So you can color correct it if you want. No, the saturation is not not good whatsoever. Oh, you can also go to presets, and that way you can get the presets, which are look even cooler, honestly. Winter scene. Brighton Alien Lab, which we already did. Um, I have these presets on here that I personally made. Moonlight, warm, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Keep it there. So let's just look at this whole video. Uh, one more thing, if you want to make this all one clip, you can hit down FN Command and hold down the A button. Uh, with two fingers pressed down on the Mac, new compound clip, make it the same name, and boom, you have all one, all the cuts are together. So now what I'm gonna do is actually put down the music for, for just here to show you how to import music. Importing music is super important. Uh, so let's say I want to upload this song right here, which is a great song, Tropical Summer Mix 2016. I recommend I look up the mix on YouTube. It's Fantastic. All right, so we're talking in here in the car, and we put this down, but we want to hear that part so command B to split that we'll do it the whole time that we're talking and you can actually raise this up and what I did to mute this part was I just got this bar right here and just scrolled it down or up you can make it louder or you can mute it so let's, let's look at this one more time if you want to do a transition which is super important this is what I use most of the time right here this little tab over to the side it's super important for transitions um, so if you hit this button right here you go to blur um, let's do this right here you can just slide it right in you can do whatever you want so you can actually hit zoom to um, radical or raid so let's just see how this looks If we want to um, make this sound a little bit not as loud, we can turn down the level like that. If you want to fade the sound in, which is what I'm going to do here, and turn this down because it doesn't need to be that loud. Alright, so that drop right there is where I want to get the guy staring into the camera, which is going to be sick. Because she doesn't like people like that. Alright. So, what I'm going to do is cut this. And then I kind of like, like frown upon myself for doing, for recording him. So...
Alright, I can't believe I, did. I went that far with that. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, and then I make fun of myself. Right there. All right, this, I really love this video, and uh, I hope you guys had a fantastic time with, you know, getting simple edit. I'm going to create this whole video. Uh, we actually travel into the woods. Uh, we go, we have a journey into the mountains. Actually, what, what what am I saying? Woods. We travel into the mountains, and we have amazing footage that I'm super excited to put out there. So uh, subscribe to Messin's Quest if you guys like this video and you liked and you liked these sorts of videos please uh, leave a comment below let me know what you want to see within this this uh program uh whether it be audio film uh color correction whatever it is leave a comment ask me what you want to see me do and i'll shout you out if you have any questions at all just let me know and uh yeah i'm lo really looking forward to the series basically just you know reviewing the final cut pro and, and showing you how i use film because i absolutely love film it's a passion of mine so i would love to show you guys how i edit uh just so you can learn from it so with that being said i love you guys so much have a fantastic day please subscribe to mess and tech for more reviews technology and software um you know reviews so with that being said love you all peace out